Hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 3 it's not the IoT version which the Raspberry Pi company offers it's the full WOA version the Windows on ARM so let's get started first you need to open your browser and go to this page uh, of course I'm gonna give the link in the description so we have to go to the downloads page and you have to download the Windows FFU image for the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm gonna go with build 1713.4.191. So I'm gonna click download from Google Drive. And I'm gonna click download anyway. And it's gonna start the download. So next what you need to do is go back again. And then you have to download the latest table windows on raspberry pi version 1.5.2 so let's download that and click on download anyway and as you can see the download is going to start So the Windows FFU image file will take some time so I'm gonna pass the recording right here and I'm gonna come back when it's done. Alright the download is completed so let's close the Google Chrome and now here we have the two files that we downloaded from Google Drive. So what you need to do is first extract the war release 1.52 I'm just gonna click extract to I'm using WinRAR here and now I'm gonna do the same to the Windows 10 FFU image and of course I'm gonna fast forward this because it's gonna take a lot of time to extract and while it's extracting it's better to plug in our SD card and the SD card should show up I'm gonna go to this PC as you can see and now you just have to format the SD card here so here I have formatted my 32 GB SanDisk SD card so we are good to go and the extraction is completed so as you can see if you go to the Windows 10 folder you have the FFU image file of the Windows 10 so now what you need to do is go to the war release folder and right click this and run as administrator click on yes and it should open now select your language I'm gonna choose English and select your drive to install the OS onto the SD card so as you can see I'm gonna select the my SanDisk SD card I'm gonna click next and the windows on arm image as you can see if you click on the three dots you're gonna get the explorer and now you need to locate the FFU image that you downloaded so it's here so I'm gonna double click on this and as you can see the selected image file is good click on next and now I'm just gonna it's if you want you can load the drivers clear on pressing these three dots I'm just gonna use the server to download the latest package I'm gonna click accept accept and next and I'm gonna do the same for the UVFI firmware use the latest firmware available on the server and then as you can see so I'm just gonna leave it default I guess let's see what options do we get here looks like it's not selecting I think maybe there are no options because even if I click these three lines it mm, nothing's popping up okay so let's just click next 
and now as you can see it's gonna show all the information that it's gonna do to your SD card and then as you can see warning all the data on your device will be deleted make a backup of your files before it's too late so the SD card will be erased so make sure you back up your photos uh, like I did that time so now all you have to do is click install it's gonna show getting ready it's formatting the target droid device now and it's gonna say installing windows so this is going to take a lot lot of time it's gonna take hours so I'm just gonna what do you say come back I'm just gonna pause the recording now and after it's finished I'm gonna come back so yeah so guys it's taking a lot of time right now and I am running out of time so I'm gonna end the video right here so what I'm what is gonna happen I'm gonna tell you after it's completed it's gonna it's just gonna say install complete or whatever and what you need to do is un what do you say disconnect the SD card from your computer plug it put it in the Raspberry Pi 3 and connect it to the TV using the HDMI port and the Raspberry Pi is gonna boot up for some of you you have to do some BIOS changes in the Raspberry Pi 3 and I'll upload the video tomorrow so yeah stay tuned for that